Dear Editor-in-Chief, I know it's been a long time since I last wrote to you, but when you hear what I've been through to get where I am, you'll understand. It all started on the MS Epimeo, the cruise ship that was taking me to Shanghai. Magnificent cruise. Don't you think, Snowy? No, there's no way you can be hungry again. Stop it! Catch it! Stop what? Catch what? Are you all right, sir? The kiosk papyrus is blowing away. Oh, I'll catch it for you. Uh. Run, Snowy. If we lose sight of it, we'll never get it. Hey, watch out. Pardon me. Better slow down, kiddo. Ah, oh, come on, pal. I just mopped that. Turn, turn, yes! No! Hey, you! What do you think we're doing? Get out from there! You're gonna fall and break your neck! You hear me? Get down from there, I said! All right! Where is it? Where is it? There! Oh, no! Not again! Next time you finish mopping, pal. Where is it? There you are. Careful, sir. Excuse me, coming through. Ha! Huh. Jumping around like that. Hey, sorry. Gracious! No! Get out of here, scallywag! Oh no! It's heading straight for the water! It went into that tube! Hello! Has anyone seen it? They haven't seen it. There it is! Let's go, Snow. We've got it now. Why is that boy running? Stop it! I think he stole the papyrus. Grab the, the boy papyrus. with the papyrus! Don't oh, let him get away! That boy's a thief! Stop it! Scallywag! Stop it! Stop it! Let the papyrus away! Stop it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Uh, stop right there! <laughs> thief! Yeah. Don't you move! What? Stop! Stop it! He's going into the water! Oh, too late. Oh, oh a lost boy. I'm so pale. You must be hungry. Let us buy you something to eat. Let me go. Don't escape, thief! But I'm not a thief! I was trying to help that gentleman catch his papyrus. But he was running after you. We were both running after the papyrus. Ah, uh, that makes sense. I'm... Uh, sorry? You better be. That document seemed very important to the poor. Hello? He's disappeared! Uh, he snuck up to the top deck, followed by a little pooch. They were looking for some food. Oh, Snowy, how stubborn. Oh, 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 oh! 
I'm afraid that that game's restricted. Some cinema people booked it. It's just for them. That glutton dog. I have to stop him. Poor gentleman. Well, I guess I owe you so. Come with me. Thank you. Oh, sometimes snowy is like a stomach on legs, you know. But don't tell anyone that I let you win. Where could they have gone? Hello. Are you all right? Good morning, sir. Um, may I help you, sir? It looks like you could use the help a lot more than me. Uh, if that's your wish, sir, I'd be happy to let you help me, sir. Have you perchance seen a white dog with a tall man in a top hat? I have, sir. The man bumped into me, made me lose my step, and then I found myself in this peculiar position, sir. He apologized, called me madam, and asked me for the way to the kitchen, sir. Then he went that way, sir, saying, you'll eat very soon, young man. The young man looked quite pleased, sir. I mean... The dog, sir. All right, let me think. How can we get your head out from... If I may, sir, that might not be the kind of help I'm in urgent need of right now, sir. Would you be so kind as to order me to give you these glasses, sir? Yes, I can do that. And then be extremely careful not to lose the ring that lies at the bottom of one of the glasses, sir? Um, yes, I can do that too. And then order me to let you give them to the gentleman who gave me the ring and ordered the glasses, sir? Uh, close to the other stairs, sir? Yes, I can do all of that. Glad to be of service, sir. Uh, please, be quick. Uh, cinema people have a very short fuse, and I wouldn't like them to get me fired. Good morning, sir. Did you see a little Prepare dog? Prepare to die, Spiegel the evil weasel! <gasps> Who are you? Now I must start the scene from the top again. But you could have hurt me! You certainly deserve it. For interrupting my scene! My word, actors can be so vain. You just saved my life, young man. And now, on with my life's plot point. <sighs> my dear Matilda. Oh, breakfast. <laughs> my dear Matilda. There's something I've been meaning to tell uh, you for a long... My dearest Marvin, at last. There's a moment mm. in your life that your heart, uh, my heart, our hearts... Uh, as we grow older, certain things no, are unhealthy for our hearts. My dearest Marvin, it was about time one of us said it. Oh! Oh, my dear Matilda! So, so you feel the same way? I... We're growing older. Hmm. 
and this kind of breakfast is not healthy for the heart. Enough! <gasps> Thank you very much, my dearest Marvin. You're welcome, my dear Matilda. Sir, uh, may I presume that you delivered the glasses, sir? Indeed. Now, don't you think it's time we did something about your head? Uh, yes, sir. If that's your wish, uh, sir. So, I'm going to push and... Oh, no, sir. If I may suggest, you might not want to do that. I already tried, but the skin on my neck stuck to the metal bar and wouldn't budge. Maybe I could try to get something that makes the bar slippery enough. As you wish, sir. I am here to serve you, sir. Arabian Nights, directed by Mel G. Ford. Arabian Nights, directed by Mel G. Ford. This cruise ship is named after Mount Epimeo on the little island of Ischia in Italy. Maybe I could put one of them between the bars where the waiter's head is stuck, then inflate it so the bars bend. But no, they're iron bars. It would never work. Besides, hmm, why is it open? Did someone fall into the water? So vain. Be careful. I'm waxing the floor, and it's slippery. Oh, thanks. It looks like a really tough chore. Are you kidding me? Waxing the floor is the best chore ever. And the lower you keep your head, the less likely people will come and whack it. That's my one and only motto. By the way, there's something I'd like to ask you. Can I borrow your can of wax for a friend? It'll just take a minute. Be generous to people who ask you for wax. That's my one and only motto. got some floor wax. It should help your head slip out of the bars. Um, if that pleases you, sir, I'd be glad to let you do it, sir. Yes. All right. The bars are slippery, so... Time to push! Yes, sir. 
I'm glad that makes you happy, sir. Uh, uh, and now, uh, if you'll allow me, sir, I've already devoted a great deal of time to your service, sir. So, have a good morning, sir. It's better not to step on the waxed floor. It's too slippery, as the waiter's head just showed. You there! Stop! Hey! You know him? You're the nitwit who knocked all the scripts on the ground! Oh, I'm very sorry. I was in a hurry. I didn't do it on purpose. You're sorry? Come here, and I'll give you a reason to feel sorry. My fists are eager to meet you. I'm sorry again, but I must decline your invitation. Let the nitwit go, brother. We don't want to disturb the boss while he's reading a new script. Excuse me, sir. Is my dog... Snowy! I've been looking all over the ship for you. Have you no shame? Get out of there right now! I'm sorry, sir. His gluttony has no limit. Thanks for taking good care of my dog. You're welcome, but I don't know of any dog, young man. What are you doing there? Can't you see? I'm rowing. Oh, but your boat isn't in the water. That's right. You're very observant, young man. I tried to retrieve your papyrus, but it blew overboard. My papyrus in the sea? Impossible. I still have it with me. What you saw flying away was the prospectus of the travel agency. Odd. I distinctly heard you yelling the word papyrus. Can you even tell a young man and a dog apart? Of course I can, young man. Dogs are all bark and no bite, whereas young men are no bark and all bite. Don't you think that maybe you're a little... Oh, no. See what you have done? Me? You and your innumerable questions have made me forget why I was rowing. Shame, indeed. Uh, <clears throat> All the same, questions are signs of an adventurous spirit. So I'll tell you a secret. A secret about something extremely secretive of the utmost secrecy. So, this red mark on the map here is... The exact location of the Tomb of Kiosk! Oh, what is that curious symbol? I believe it must be the Royal Cipher of Kiosk. And I, Sophocles Sarcophagus, will be the first Egyptologist to reveal his tomb to the world. What do these hieroglyphs mean? They speak of the curse of Kiosk that afflicts anyone who tries to find his tomb. Actually, all the archaeologists who've endeavored to find it have disappeared under mysterious circumstances. 
if you're interested, why not join me in Port Said's old town tomorrow and we'll look for the tomb together? Certainly. We would like that. Right, Snowy? Mm -hmm. Until tomorrow then, dear friend. Goodbye, little man. <laughs> oh! Uh, I beg your pardon, Captain. What an odd character. Hey, huh? clumsy oaf! Can't you look where you are going? Uh, I'm terribly sorry. I mistook you for a vengeance. Imbecile! Please, sir, control yourself. The gentleman didn't bump into you deliberately. You impudent little whippersnapper! How dare you meddle? Hey, you two! What do I pay you for? Hmm? <laughs> I'm afraid you're going to be really sorry. Gentlemen, there's no need for this. Someone could get hurt. My nose! Whoops. Your nose! Whose nose? Break his nose! Whose nose again? Your nose! No, my nose! I have! Who's that? Shut up! On the count of three! One! Two! Three! Oh. Bungling bunch of bunglers! You call yourself bodyguards? Let's go! And you, you don't know who you're dealing with. The day will come when you'll regret ever having crossed my path. Remember my name. <laughs> How funny. Didn't even say his name. <sighs> His face rings a bell, though. Hmm. The next day, after a delicious breakfast, courtesy of a grateful and helpful waiter... All right, Snowy. We'll be arriving in Port Said in just a few hours. How do you want to spend time till... Mm. What? What's that? Does it smell odd? Can you find where the smell is coming from, Snowy? What's that, Snowy? This part of the carpet is wet. Except for that footprint. Someone was here just a moment ago. Fine, Snowy. That looks like ash from a huge cigar. That's the odd smell. Someone who smokes was in our room. Nice work, Snowy. I'll take it from here. Tintin and Snowy save the day. They took that picture at the official banquet the city of Chicago held in our honor after we fought Al Capone. The blonde woman is Mary Pickford, the famous actress. And the man with the monocle... Wait, that's the bad-tempered man from yesterday. I knew I had met him before. Roberto Rastapopoulos, owner of Cosmos Pictures, the largest American cinema company. Mel G. Ford to direct Arabian Nights. Of course, that's the man I saw yesterday, sleeping on the top deck. My reporter camera is the single most valuable item in this cabin, which means that they didn't want to steal Snowy.
there's some water on the plate. Maybe they tipped the jar over, water spilled onto the carpet, and then they tread on it, which would explain the footprint. You're such a good detective, Snowy. I'm very proud of you. You're such a good detective, Snowy. I'm very proud of you. The sign is on the outside of the door, so it wasn't the room service who came in and smoked here. The drawers? I'd be appalled if someone had stolen my clothes. Still, no harm in looking. Alright, they didn't take my clothes, as anticipated. I don't remember seeing this box before. How did this get... Huh? Is your name Tintin? Tintin? That, that is, is your, your name, name Snowy. Snowy? Yes, that's us. What... Well, well, well. The tip was true. That's opium, sure enough. What? This must be some kind of joke. I arrest you and your dog in the name of the law. To be precise, I name you to arrest your... Where's your dog? It escaped. We must tell the crew that a four-legged criminal is on the loose. Come with us, you two-legged felon. But this makes no sense whatsoever. Sense? Justice will put some... <laughs> Who put that here? Surely the dog to stop us. The cunning crook. Let's offer a reward. You! Where can we lock up this criminal? Oh, I know it. You can put him in the cellar. That way. What about his little pooch? Find it and you'll get a substantial reward. Sure, that sounds like a lot. I could this scallywag tried suit. to rob me. Find his dog for a substantial reward. Detectives, my husband has gone missing. He was thirsty. I looked in the bar, but... We don't have time for that, madam. What if I, uh, hmm... But no, Thanks. it would never and work. do tell us if you see the four-legged criminal. Snowy is not a... Walk, you two-legged trickster. Why, he's such a cute dog. Why is it so hot in here? My vocal cords are going to dry up before this lousy piano gets tuned. Maybe you could open that window behind you, sir. <sighs> in the name of the fans of the great actor and singer Randolfo Bertolino, <laughs> that's me. Grazie. Glad to be of service, sir. Dear Mommy. The soda, yes. The soda, yes. Peanuts, yes. Da, 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 da. Spring water.
Potter! No, no. No. Mm. Not good. Ah. Hair wax? <laughs> yes, you never know. All right. Let's Ice see. cubes? Yes. Stale and no good. Ah. The piano lid fell, and... Uh... Besides, this is no place for passengers. And your wife is looking for you. You know what? Thanks for the key, sailor. The one that opens the cellar is... Don't burden us with details. We're on a mission. Sir, uh, sorry, sir. And now I'm on a mission too. I will find that dog. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. That coward town left his right rat excuses. Left, right. Left, right. If I could prove there are no rats, so Tom could come back. You've got to believe me. A ghost sailed through the ventilators. But it was me. I was chasing a Shut up, you delinquent, and mind your step. No! Oh! Ah! Ouch! That hurts! That's the cellar door, Thompson. Lock him in. Me? But the sailor gave you the keys, Thompson. To be precise, he gave you the cellar keys, Thompson. Look in your pockets. Not here. Oh. 